YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise Barber. We're back with another Concise Review. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the limited FX Boost Collection right here. I have the blue version. This is a beautiful color. But before we get into all of that, let's get into the unboxing and then let's review this combo. So when it comes to the price of this combo, you can get this right now at any bar supply store. I say around about $299. So basically $300, you can find this combo. And usually, uh, I think originally it came out around $349 or $379 when it first came out. But right now, it's probably the best time to get it is that you can get both of these for $300. The next thing I like talking about is the power and the battery life and the power on both of these, I believe this has 6,800 RPMs, this has 7,200 RPMs and they both come at a run time of two hours. Um, I'm not sure the charge time, but I do believe the charge time is basically the same, is the same as the run time. I could be wrong, but it could be an hour and a half to two hours, but I know it's, it doesn't exceed two hours. So when it comes to the power and battery life, this is where the foundation, this is where like entry level of where most new, most cordless clickers should be is at 6,800 RPMs and the trimmers at 7,200 RPMs. And two hour run time is probably at the bottom. Um, that's probably like the, the new foundation of, you know, having a okay run time. Cause anything under two hours is basically not that good. So let's get into the packaging. Uh, I honestly like, the packaging, I like the box. I like that, you know, you can both, you know, the display, you can see both the clipper and the trimmer. But what's also dope is that it does come with the, uh, the charging stand. Love that it comes with the charging stand. I think where they really kind of messed up with this and they was still has this, this thing that, you know, they're trying to show how strong you are uh, when it comes about taking stuff out, whatever like that, not sure why, but when it comes to this packaging, these guards, these are not the premium guards, they're just the basic baneless guards. I think with this type of combo, this is like the upgraded version of the Gold FX and the, the GT, I mean, the Gold FX trimmers. I think that this probably should have been upgraded as well. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what's in the, that's what's in the packaging. Also, you have um, the bottom. You can switch out the bottoms to black with mine's is blue and it also gives you an extra clip left. So you get the charging stands, the clippers, some guards, and a few more uh, small items and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with that, y'all, to be honest. I definitely think that um, the clipper and trimmer perform very well. It would be nice to just get everything on at a premium level. Next thing I like talking about is the design. Talking about these uh, clippers and trimmers, I have to say that I would have loved if Babus would have started out like this from the jump, especially with this rubber grip. This rubber grip is basically the thing that changes everything when it comes to this clipper because the silicone, the barbell feel of the first one, um, it definitely wasn't the best thing to feel in your hand, to be honest. But with this rubber, I, do, I still do like the length of it. I definitely feel like it works well when it comes to this clipper and trimmer. Um, now, I put an extra one on, on here. I'm not sure why I was OD with the rubber part, but whatever. Uh, the color, I love the colorways that they have for these. You can still get these, like, they have a customized option or website. They have a customized website where you can switch out the rubber, switch out everything. You know, that's one thing about Babyless. They really 
care about the aesthetic, the, the look of how the clipper looks. Um, so I do love that. They just basically kept everything original with the clip lever, uh, the Babyliss Pro, the, the hook right here. Um, you can charge this wire or with the charging dock. You know, I will be talking about the charging dock. And, you know, they gave us a black blade. I think that was a nice black wedge blade. They have this on the low pros. They did talk about that blade before. But on this, I definitely think that it does a good job. No, also, when it comes to the trimmer, I like that they gave us a nice sleek look. Basically, just kept it the same, but just added the, the rubber. Now, when it came to the blade, they gave us a DLC 2.0, but I switched mine out to the Graphite 2.0. And to be honest, it's a significant difference. If you have this blade, I would definitely switch this out. And also with the design, I thought it was kind of dope when it came to the charging stands, is that yes, you charge it right here, but they put the rubber grip, they put the rubber grip on the charging stand. I feel like they was just, you know, you know, not to say trying to be funny with it, but it was just like, all right, y'all want rubber? Y'all need rubber on y'all clippers? All right, bet I will give y'all some rubber. And they gave it, they gave it to us on the charging stand. It's like no usage for that right now but hey it definitely goes with everything that's not even today it definitely goes with everything and it looks really really good so this is a lovely thing to see on your barber station all right so next thing i like talking about is the blades and i did speak about them just a little bit the wedge blade is on the clipper and they did a dlc 2.0 on the trimmer now let's talk about this wedge blade just a little bit because this wedge blade, I did talk about it being on the low pro and I really didn't like it on the low pro. I'm not sure why, maybe it was just too new for me. But on this, I do like this black wedge blade. I thought I was gonna switch it out, but I didn't. Honestly, I did switch it out and then I switched it back because I was like, you know what? I kind of need this type of blade for certain things. So it definitely has some use. The cutting blade, now when it comes to the cutting blade, cutting blade is good. Nothing wrong with it, but I just would love to see something different. That's that's all I'm saying when it comes to Babyliss, when it comes to their blades. Um, I think they do they do difference with the steel blade, but the cutting blade, it seems to be generically all the same on all of their clippers. I could be wrong, but if they do have something different, somebody please let me know and I would love to try it. Now, when it comes to the DLC 2.0, that's the most generic blade that you put on all their Babyliss trimmers. I think that, you know, we should probably have Option or which one we should pick when we when we're at checkout. I think that would be dope. Um, but the fact that they give us that blade, the majority of us always switch it out to the original Gold FX, the Gold FX 2.0, the Graphite 2.0, the Chameleon, the whatever. Anything that's not DLC 2.0, we switch it out. So what that means is that uh, we spend extra money to get another blade. And I wish that they did not just always come out with you know, come with the DLC 2.0 blade. I understand that's probably the most generic all-around blade that they give us, but when it comes to sharpness, anything like that, they lose in that category when it comes to that blade. So the next thing I like talking about is the performance. And when it comes to the performance, I'm gonna show you a clip a little bit that these things do cut well together. This combo works very, very well. Um, I don't have to switch anything out. I can use uh, the clipper and the trimmer for one whole haircut and it will just work out completely well. Now, there are some times where you can use one clipper, but the trimmer's not doing how you, you know, the best that you would like it to be. So you switch it out with a different brand or just a, a different version of, the, of that trimmer. But this, but with this combo, I did not have that problem at all. And I thought it was very, uh, it's a very good thing because I like using things uh, as a combo, like a one-two. So. The fact that I can use this um, and not have no problems with all textures of hair when it comes to performance, I definitely thought that they definitely stepped the game up when it came to the Boost Plus collection. All right, so now a quick observation. I wanted to bring back the charger dock real quick for a little bit. And I wanted to show y'all something that I noticed. Um, no pro, no con or anything like that, but just giving you guys a heads up that when it comes to the charging dock, when you put this in to charge, you're gonna notice that this thing is kinda of loose. It is kinda of loose, and it's not snug in the charging dock. So it does allow you to just freely pull it up and you know to use, and just to place it back down. Now, 
Some people might like it a little more snug, but to me, this is okay. So this is gonna let y'all know that it is. It does have like a little bit of looseness to it. All right, so now we're at the last part where I talk about the, my concise review. And when it comes to my concise review, is this something that's gonna stay on my station? Then I can honestly say that these are definitely gonna stay on my station. Definitely a good combo to have. Definitely something I can use as a one, two. And I definitely like the fact that I can do that because sometimes you can have one great thing that, that they come together, but you gotta have to use a different brand or anything else. But when it comes to Babyless, I think they did a great job with these two. So, so that being said, that's what I think about these. And if you guys would like to see another video, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Be blessed.